Hi, this is the second in our series of videos overviewing the capabilities of Autolux, a plugin for AutoCAD that enables uh, photometric analysis within an AutoCAD environment. First, we'll look at grids today. If I pull down the grid menu, we have a few options. Grid points is the first tool we'll use to define what we want our target point set to measure. We can name this whatever we want to. For now, we'll just call it target point set, but we can have a virtually unlimited number of target point sets within a drawing. By default, a target point set will calculate horizontal lux. If we want to edit those um, attributes, we just click on next. And we can add things like thresholds to highlight hot points or high, high luminance areas, or we can generate a contour plot to, to really see where we might have a hole in our design. And we can also choose from these other uh, measurements as well. We can also add multiple measurements. So if we want horizontal lux in addition, we'd also want, say, uh, vertical luminance if we we're on a street situation, um, maybe eye luminance, um, or maybe we have a sports field application where we need to guarantee a particular camera uh, has um, accurate or, or enough lighting to, to illuminate the players. Uh, for now, we'll just leave it simple as horizontal lux. Click OK. Then we click grid XYZ to place the grid in space. We can place it anywhere in space, on the ground plane, um, on a wall, um, on a uh, grid surface, on a polygon mesh, um, along a polyline. So say you want to follow a property line. Uh, lots of options here. To just get started, we'll do a rectangular array of points on a 10 by 10 spacing. I'll click next and I'll just draw a rectangle. The next prompt asks me what Z coordinate, meaning what elevation I want these grid points placed at. And I'll just pick zero for now to put them on the ground plane. There's my grid points. And because I already have light fixtures in this drawing, I can just click calculate. And there I have a series of values and a summary table generated automatically.